Welcome back to Nier, everybody. A side quest edition just for you all. Let's see where we are in the old quest percentage. We have 81%, 19% to go, and two quests sitting in front of us. Let's see what the left one has to say. We have a problem. A great number of people have gone missing in sandstorms lately. That's not good. You have any idea why? No. The soldiers even investigated, but they didn't find anything. Hmm. Troubling. This is just a quest akin to the same of the Master of the Southern Plains. Ew. Excuse me, sir. I have an urgent request. What is it? We've received word that bandits are breaking into the Baron Temple. However, the rules prevent us from entering the temple and dispatching the intruders. Therefore, we would like you to eliminate the thieves in our stead. Yeah, sure, I guess we can do that. Finally, a job with some killing. Please be careful, it's bad enough the bandits are, are in our most sacred place, but if they were to touch the seal... What seal? Legend tells of a powerful shade that has been sealed away in a section of the temple. If they stumble across it during their search for treasure... Hmm, yes, that would be bad. And for the bandits as well. Okay, so we have to hurry. Got it. And off we go. We're pretty much heading in the same direction for both of these quests, so we can do it on the way. What a headache. What is? We've not the time to worry about random bandits. The temple is really important to the masked people, you know. Then perhaps they should station some guards at the entrance. There's probably a rule about that. Hell, they can't even go inside the place. And thus, my headache. Stop bitching and get moving. Hey. Hey, I remember you. Are you still tracking wolves? No, I've moved on to Shades. They're, they've been pretty active lately. Huh. Well, be careful, alright? Hmm. She is closer to the village now. You sure it's not just your imagination? Are you kidding? She was on the far side of the desert before. But I fear that is not enough reason to detain her. So, we'll have to leave her, whatever her intentions may be. And head into the sandstorm, because we have better things to do with our time. Surely this won't bite us in the ass in the near future. Yes, I made a near pun. But, um, tsh. Fuck's sake. I hate it when people hound me with them. It's not necessary. You know it's not funny. So why do you keep doing it? Oh, oh, that must be the big shade. Is this it? The shade that appears during sandstorms. Okay, it's not this one. It is. It's not that shade at all. There's sand in my mouth. Is it? Quite an ordeal. We gotta get close enough to kill him. Let's get this over. Where? I feel. Oh, there it is. I was wondering what was going on there. I saw the flying shade and just saw the health bar appear, and I thought something very strange happened indeed. But fortunately, this is a shade. It's kind of a complete pushover, even on hard mode. It's kind of a misfortunate situation in which you just smacked me for about a quarter of my health. It's kind of sad that that counts as uh, being a pushover in the world of Nier. You may notice that I sometimes get knocked back quite furiously. If you're actually very careful, you can actually press X at the right moment. So that you may act, um, so that you may recover in midair. A bit of a fighting game technique, but otherwise, yeah, not completely unwelcomed. Now it makes sense. It attacked people by hiding in giant dust storms. That's pretty smart for a shade. We'd best warn the client about this shade. And with that, the mission is complete, and I completely disregard the rest of this quest. Or, not the rest of the quest, but the rest of the shades in the current vicinity, so that we may head to the Baron Temple. We are... we could easily just plow straight to the end of the quest, and uh, complete it in record time, but... There's another little matter we have to take care of while we're there. I'll explain it when we get inside. 
Until then, bandits there popping into sight. Hmm. Someone's someone's in front of the temple. Help! Help! You're one of the guys trying to bust up the temple. Why should I help you? There's a huge shade inside. We were just looking for Dre. I mean, uh, uh, anyway, it's huge. I made it out, but my fellow the. Uh, I mean, uh, but my friends are still in there. It seems the worst case scenario has come to pass. Screw these guys. They made their bit. They made their bed. Now let them shit in it. If that shade is as big as they claim, it's too dangerous to let it live. Let's go in and take care of the shade. Even though it's probably too stupid to ever escape via traditional means. Especially considering the bridge to the outside world is actually broken. And so we return to the puzzle temple, and we are given more puzzles. They have all reset. All of them. Most of or all of them are actually combat orientated, and we... Well, it's in our best interest to complete them all now. I wish it wasn't, but it is. We have to do this for another quest upcoming straight after this one, so may as well do it while we still can. The leaping rabbit is prohibited, so we may not jump. That's not so bad, we can still roll. Could, you know what, now that I think about it, rolling is sort of a form of very acrobatic jumping. You're jumping forwards and then sort of making a maneuver. Hmm, maybe I'm onto something here. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, but wait till we get to the later ones. It gets kind of painful. Actually, I may as well go and pick up that item. The for uh, this temple is actually a great location for picking up items. Meteorite. Yeah, actually, that's actually a really good item. Fantastic. I think it's used in weapon forging. Not 100% sure, but we'll hang on to this. Not sure how a meteorite got in here, though. Would really like to ask that question. The least they could have done, though, was actually speed up that fucking animation. Stationary out, we're not allowed to stand still, which is a little bit more tricky than, uh, not jumping. But otherwise, it's not too hard. You just have to keep holding forwards on the analog stick. Even the still frames of animation where Nier stops moving aren't that bad. Unfortunately, Nier can heal while jumping, so we can just do that and not have any benefit, well, any penalties to deal with. As long as Nier is doing something, he can get through this room alright. Thank you, and now we can go and take the back path into uh, moving along now, shall we? Let's moosey along to that watering hole. It's funny because it's a desert. And off we go. Hup, hup, early up, and into the next room we go. Uh, what bullshit do you have for me in this room game? Animations of door shutting. Racing wolf, so we're not allowed to run. Slightly trickier, but I have a remedy for that. So we just need to be very careful. Fortunately, we can still use magic, so that's pretty good. Ah, oh, fuck's sake! God damn it, I hate this room! Yep, just even nudging forwards too much can be a little bit too much. And it makes it extremely hard to evade because you're too paranoid to fucking actually hold the direction you need to go so that you can roll to evade. So instead I just press triangle to sprint instead. It works out pretty well. Come on, don't. Just nudge it. Nudge it. Just keep on going. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. This is kind of annoying. Oh, 
And with that, that's over with. And that's not even the most annoying one, if you ask me. We'll get to that later. Just to let you know, the monsters in here are actually kind of hard. Again, more on that later. Possibly harder than every boss in this game combined. Again, more on that later. For now, we are not allowed to use... We're not allowed to guard. So, being warned, do not use execute moves, which is normally traditionally done by holding guard and square. It does not... Well, it counts as guarding, and uh, yeah, you have to restart the room all over again. Kind of unrecommended, just saying. Fortunately, I don't think I even have a guard equipped at the moment. Instead, I actually have um, Dark Gluttony equipped. And I actually may be able to cheese the fight. Now that I remind myself about um, Dark Gluttony, I may actually be able to cheese the hardest fight in this temple. We'll see about that. You might even say more on that later. So, let's head into this room too. What have you got for me in this set of rooms? It's either no magic or no sword. Come on, Dixie. Blade-wielding tiger. Okay. I have a particular stratagem for this, uh, this little situation. What we do is we go to Dark Blast and we modify it. We, um, let's see what we've got. More magic power, and reduce the magic cost by 10%. This basically makes an infinite stream of just magic that you cannot stop. Uh, Dark Fatter... Uh, we'll take Dark, Glut uh, Dark Gluttony back later. Either way, we cannot use our swords at all. Fortunately, it's not really required. Fuck, 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 bulls, fuck. Dark Phantasm! And let's go pick off the ones that are actually affected. As you can see, the magic uh, begins to sustain itself on my mana bar. Now we can just fire it eternally. I'm actually gaining magic out of this situation. Albeit extremely slowly. Although we do tend to lose some when we actually let go of the trigger and cause the explosion. I missed. Balls. It's kind of interesting how magic has no form of uh, recovery in this game. There's no ether item, no super rare item. Ooh. Twisted ring. We're going to need that. And down you go. As for this room, I'm pretty sure it's um, the rule to restrict magic. Again, these rooms, not very interesting, but I felt like you should probably see them for all the uh, the details they contain, such as emptiness and my rage. Magic spewing bats, and we get a boss for our troubles, and an actually pretty tough one. Fortunately, we don't need magic. God. Yeah, remember what I said? About the monsters being hard in this game? In this particular temple? That just happened. I was at 100% health. Look at what just happened. Fuck the world. Let's try that again. Okay, maybe I wasn't at 100% health, but that was kind of ridiculous. They can hit you multiple times for a quarter of your health. Gotta be really careful. That's why we're gonna use defense drops this time and actually heal our health. Strength capsule, defense drop. Come at me, bruh! Just gotta be really careful about those shock waves. Ow! Yeah, that would have killed me. All I care about is killing you as fast as fucking possible. And I can't do anything because I'm stuck! Fucking die! Come on, fuck, I'm stuck! I can't get out! Jesus Christ. Let's use that defense drop, otherwise we're gonna die. 
Come on, one more hit! One more good hit! Much better. And a strength capsule for our worries. And a simple machine to upgrade our weapons with. I think that was it. No, it's still alive. Not anymore, though. Fantastic. I think that was the last room that we need to do before we can complete this quest. There's only one more room, and it's just here. At least I think... Oh, no, there's one more. The room to complete the quest is on the right, but we're just going to tackle this one while we're here. Evasive mouse, meaning we're not allowed to use dodging uh, dodging moves like evade. As you can imagine, this makes things quite difficult, especially since it's the same monster that can one-shot me, and I actually can't use an evasive maneuver to dodge him. I've never seen him do that attack before, though. Fuck, I'm stuck again! I can't evade my uh, evade roll my way out of it because it just doesn't let me. And I can't dodge that and then I get stuck in him again. He really likes me being inside him. Ah oh, fuck, I totally dodged that. Fuck you. And with that he dies. Simple machine, fantastic. It's kind of easy to forget after you've actually defeated the boss that you think that the rules are not still instated. I have done this on a numerous amount of occasions and have slapped myself in the nuts because of it. Boom! I have tried this room probably at least several times now. Seven, seven or so times. And so let's go complete this quest, so that we may return here in about five minutes time. Welcome to the weirdest room of the rules, one that is extremely vague. The rule of this room is... Time forgetting monkey. It gives you no indication of how long you have. So what I do, is I head straight for the other end. And we need to change our magic to Dark Gluttony, because we may be able to cheese this fight. Okay, so first things first, we want a Strength Capsule and we want a Defense Drop. See, we've already taken off a good chunk of their health by using Dark Gluttony. Maybe if we use a Magic Drop, we don't have many of them. We can actually maybe cheese this fight altogether. Ah, Christ! Ah, fuck! One stomp and I've already lost most of my health with a defense drop on. I need it to spew magic again so I can cheese this fight entirely. Down it goes! Fucking cheesed. I don't care, This that battle was complete bullshit anyway. Let's just get a few weakness status effects on all these guys and wrap it up here. Yes, Twisted Ring. Mm. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. That was very satisfying. There's no need to devote ourselves to the next rule. We defeated the shade that was sealed away. That was intense. No wonder they sealed that thing up, even though I completely cheesed the fight. True enough, let's grab the surviving bandit and take him back to Facade. 
Oh, oh, let's grab that real quick. Strength capsule, very useful. We're going to need that. And off we go. I'm going to get out of here before those guys get back. Oh ho, I'm afraid you came up with your brilliant scheme a little too late. God damn it! And the first instance of ever getting to fight a human NPC actually happens here. Really surprised, I never did this quest before. And um, yeah, obviously he's a complete pushover. Oh, knock it off. Shut up, you! And he heals himself, but one hit just completely fucks his shit and he drops. I'll get you! I'll get you for this! Ugh. Hey, asshole. There's a kid back in town who wants to play marbles, but he's too short. Think you can help? Ice burn. Eh! Keep her away from me! That was some excellent restraint on your part, hussy. I expected a foul-mouthed teriard of epic proportions. Cram it up your index book. You guys done. Then let's tie this guy up and report back. Boom. Hey. I heard you threw that bandit in the clink. Probably better than he deserves. The seal was open when we got there, but we managed to defeat the Shade. Thank you. I knew you were up to the task. The king sends this payment with his compliments. 20k. We got more for giving them items. And with that, we can actually hand in the other quest for where we defeat the, uh, the shade in the sandstorms. There was a large shade hiding inside the desert sandstorms. That's what happened to your people. It was inside the storm? No wonder we couldn't find it. Thank you very much. Here's your payment. Stay alert. When there's one shade, there's usually more. And with that, we just earned about 50k all in one go. Well, let's see what else there is to do. I'm pretty sure there's one more thing left outside of the city that we can do. It's that strange person again, and they've gotten closer. Hey, what's going on now? They've been on the move lately, so I was curious. Who has been on the move? The townspeople! Are you an idiot or something? Watch out! This thing is a shade! There's more of them nearby! What a shocking twist! The person was actually a shade all along! They... they couldn't be here! Stop with the bullshit and just kill them all! The hussy is correct. We must eliminate these beasts. But... but I... Emil, watch out! Yes, it turns out that the Shades have learned to disguise themselves as humans, but none less than the one townsperson we helped out and found in near the, how do I put it, the person that we thought was murdered by her boyfriend, it actually turned out to be a Shade? When the transformation happened is unclear. Maybe when he buried her in the, um, in the Sand Sprout Well, if you remember those weird power structure things that transport us around the desert. I don't use them very often because they're not very useful. You've got to be very quick to catch them before they hit the, well, after they hit the ground. What's going on here? Can't you tell? We can't let them get into the city. We must stop them here. And with that, the King of Facade joins the fight despite doing completely negligible damage. Well, they get an, a, a gold star for helping, that's for sure. But it's so hard to fucking hit these guys. Jesus Christ, there's magic bullets everywhere. And I'm running out of health items. This is getting kind of ridiculous. It's like raining balls everywhere. These shades in the sky actually have armor on now. Boom. 
I think I may have... No, no, there's still one up. Come on. Fuck. I missed it. Come on. Restore. Restore mana. There we go. Much better. The ones you want to dispatch are the flying ones first, considering how annoying they are to defeat. And of course, there's always a boss fight. Fortunately, not as difficult as the other ones. Let's just take it out in record time, shall we? I'm getting tired of fighting Shades today. Just like that, he falls and gives us an elaborate machine. Just what we need. It's amazing how many hits these guys can take from the mo one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Albeit a level 1 powerful weapon of the... Um, or it's only level 1 and it could be more powerful. That's what I meant to say. Are you done yet? I think that's it. It seems our people owe you another debt, outsider. At this rate, I may have to make you king and be done with it. It's no big deal. But listen, we've got problems. When we first saw the shade, it was disguised as one of the masked people. What? Are you saying that there may be shades among my own people? It's possible. You'll probably want to keep an eye out. Curse shades! I won't let you lay a single claw on my people. Here's a small reward for you. Please, take it. To Ching. Hmm. There is actually one more quest to do, but we have to exit and enter facade to be able to get it. So I'm just going to do just that. I'll see you in two seconds. And here we are, back with the King of Facade, and he has another quest for us. Oh, what are we going to do? What's wrong? Thanks to those thieves who unlocked the seal, the Baron Temple is crawling with shades. We need to get in there and seal them away. But they are powerful, and I worry about my people. Plus with the rules and all. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. You can rest easy. We're used to this sort of thing by now. I wish we could help you for a change. Yep, it looks like we're off on another quest. And this is why you need to do all the, um, the puzzle rooms. So that you may actually get into the final room and complete this quest altogether. It's unfortunate because I'm act- I just realised I'm extremely low on health recovery items. I have about four. I'm gonna try it anyway. It'll be a fun challenge. And what's life without challenges? It would be like a fruit sundae without the ice cream. But would it be the fruit? Or maybe even the raspberry sauce. Who knows? Otherwise, I'll see you back at the temple since we've trekked to the sandstorm about three times now. Two times, actually. Okay, we're back here. And we're heading back to where we fought that strange structure when the King of Facade was first kidnapped. Now this door is unlocked because we've actually completed all of the uh, challenge rooms. And there are shades awaiting us, also one of those really fucking hard shades that can three-shot us. So, let's be careful, shall we? Just putting that out there. Please, for the love of God, be careful. Fortunately, there are no rules. And unfortunately, I benefit from that. A lot. Fuck! Fortunately, they cannot knock you off the ledge very well. Ah, fuck! That's two of our health items gone already. Okay, with that out of the way, we can move in, but I have another idea. Instead of having level 8 weakened tied to Dark Phantasm, I'm going to change it so that I can now have 
No, not that one. I want Drain HP level 8 so that I have less chance of dying. A bit of a vampiric build, but League of Legends players will understand what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a health. Okay, fine. Just heal me. Heal me. That's cool. Totally okay with this. It's been a while since we've been here, actually. Didn't really get much of a chance to look. Ah, fuck. He's a strong one. We better take our time. A strong one, my ass. Cheesed. And down you go. Level 27. Save that for later, boy. We must stay calm and approach this slowly. Calm my ass! We've already taken out most of the threats. Okay, so I, I overestimated this fight. I didn't really think I was going to be that good at it. Why are you still alive? And I know you're not. Does that mean the quest is over? Did we do it? The shades inside this temple are far more powerful than I expected. Either way, our work here is done. Let's get back to the king. Thank you for dispatching the shades. Here is a small reward for your work. The Labyrinth Song. Pretty cool. And that's all he has to say on the matter. Legend has it, the Shades are desecrated forms of kings that ruled in ancient times. Why would old kings yearn so much for life that they transform themselves into those abominations? A very good question. But one will probably never know the answer to. Oh well! Best not think about it too hard. And this is the new sword we got. It's pretty neat. It's really, really fucking slow. I'm probably never going to use it. Its element is fire, I believe. Nope, wind. Nice. I don't even understand why this game has elemental affinities anymore, but oh well. Ah, I was going to catch the last fish of the Fisherman's Gambit today. But I think I'll save that for the next side quest edition. Let's see how many quests we've completed. 87. 13% more to go. I'll see you on the other side, Badger Recruits. We did, we did some good work today. Let's all go get some smoothies with vanilla ice. See you there.